Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the shipping connectors and shipping method in Odoo 17 sales module. Managing and fulfilling orders should be made easier and more automated with the help of shipping connections, especially for e-commerce sites or the companies that sends tangible things. Connectors for shipping make it easier to connect with different shipping companies and services. Through this interface, companies can track shipments, uh, create shipping labels and get real-time shipping costs straight from the e-commerce platform or business management system. Automating the order fulfillment process is possible with the shipping connections. And the connection minimizes the mistakes and manual labors by automating, I mean, automatically calculating the shipping charges, creating um, and updating the tracking information once an order is placed. So let's see how can we manage the shipping connectors and uh, shipping method in Odoo 17 sales module. So let's move on to the sales module where you can just head into the configuration settings and let's drag down where you can find the shipping connectors under the shipping. So here we have uh, different shipping connectors such as delivery methods, DHL Express uh, connectors, UP, I mean USPS connectors and many more and we have a new uh, connector called ship rocket connector which will be completely explaining through another video so here as we have just enabled the shipping method you can find uh, the uh, I mean delivery method you can find the shipping method under the configuration menu of Odoo platform of sales module and uh, we are currently activated uh, or enabled on the shipping connectors here so that we can compute the shipping cost on orders. So using different connectors, we can calculate the shipping cost of the order along with the channel of delivery of the item. Now, if you want to just, um, yeah, use any of the shipping method, you can just go uh, to the shipping method uh, over here. So let's move on uh, to the shipping method that is delivery methods. So as you just move on, you would be able to see all the shipping methods that is currently activated or you can just move on uh, from the configuration um, menu uh, of shipping methods where you can find the same page. And here we can see uh, the delivery methods, the providers and the company. So let me choose the post as the uh, shipping methods where we can choose the providers. So if you want to install more providers, you can just click on install more providers currently we have installed almost every um shipping providers over here so if you want to activate delivery um mondia, mondia um relay you can just click on activate button uh, so that you can use this provider also now let's move on to the shipping method and uh, if you want to restrict this shipping method for a particular company you can uh, set likewise and you can also uh, use the margin on rate like you can set the percentage of margin that to be applied on the shipping charge or you can also get additional margin over here so while managing with the shipping method we also need to manage with the delivery product which means while we are managing with the shipping charges the shipping charges will be um, calculated by showing the delivery product so the delivery product will be always uh, set as a service product in Odoo. So as you just create uh, the uh, delivery product, the product type will be automatically set to service product by Odoo itself. And you can also uh, set the sales price that to be applied as well as uh, if you want to apply uh, tax for the shipping method, you can apply customer taxes also. So let's move on to the uh, shipping method that we are dealing with. So currently we are using the shipping method as uh, based on rules. We can set different rules. Like uh, let's say the customer is placing an order for um, acoustic block screen with one quantity. So we can set a rule in such a way that if the customer is placing an order for acoustic block screen and if it's less than or equal to five, then the customer has to make a shipping charge of 20 rupees. And if the customer is making an order with above uh, or equal to five quantity of the product, then customer need to make a payment of fifty dollar. Uh, and if the uh, total price or the price of the product is greater than or equal to five thousand dollar, then the customer uh, do not need to make any sh uh, payment for shipping of the item or upon the delivery of the item. Okay. 
so here you can also find we have different providers such as fixed price so if you're using fixed price here we can set a fixed price upon the delivery of the item that is we can give a fixed a price of um, shipping charge for the delivery of the item or we can also make the a uh, free delivery of the item so if you want to make a free delivery you can just enable this field uh, so uh, you can also set the amount uh, so above this amount only we can just provide a free delivery uh, to the customer so currently we are going to use the provider as based on rules and here you can also find B post DHL easy post FedEx send cloud ship rocket ups and usps all these are connectors um different connectors so if we are using these connectors then uh, by those connectors the delivery will be um done to the customer side so we are going to deal with the provider as based on rule so let's go to the orders we have just received an order from the customer so let's move on and let's create a yeah the quotation we have just received the order from the customer deco addict where you can choose a product so let me choose a product as acoustic block screen and here you can see the customer is going to place an order um for five no let's say four quantity okay and uh, you can see we can add the shipping method over here by default the shipping method will be set as local uh, delivery and you can also set the shipping method that we want to set and let me choose that so as i uh, choose the shipping method you can see that the total order weight will be automatically calculated here as well as the cost also will be applied here that is the shipping charge also will be applied here this this shipping charge is calculated calculated based on the rule that we have set under the shipping method now the uh, weight of the product is calculated from the internal link of the product so when you just get into the internal link of the product under the inventory tab we can set the weight of the product the volume and everything under the logistics uh, so that the weight of the product will be automatically calculated while shipping the item to the customer side so let's move on to the uh, sale order that we are dealing with and let me choose the one that is the post and you can just click on add so that you can see a uh, $20 will be um, considered as the shipping charge. Now what happens if the customer is making an order above uh, 5 quantity. So the shipping charge will be changing to 50. Okay. Now let me change this to yeah, uh, 10 quantity and here we can just add the shipping method as the post and you can see order will automatically change its total weight because we have received an order for 10 quantity so each quantity uh, has a weight of 1 kg so that uh, 10 quantity will have 10 kg of weight and the cost will be calculated here and you can just click on add so um as we have just added a delivery product in the shipping method you can see as we set the shipping charge order will automatically add the delivery product to the order lines over here so likewise uh, upon setting the rules uh, the shipping charge will be calculated okay now let's confirm the order and make the delivery of the item to the customer so let's validate the process so finally we have just delivered so when you just move on and try to create the invoice here you can find uh, the price of the product is $2950 and the shipping charge is $50 along with we have a tax of $442.50 so in total we have a $3442.50 and let's create the invoice for this so we are going to create a regular invoice so click on create a uh, draft invoice so upon the confirmation of the invoice the invoice will be moving to the hosted state now we can request for the payment from the customer side by clicking on register payment so that the amount will be shown here so let me click on create payment and it's done so once the payment is uh, moved into the bank 
that is after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank and this is how we manage with the shipping method and shipping connectors in Odoo 17 sales module so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video